All right, everybody. For, so for this example, um, we're asked to find the image of the rectangle 0, 1 cross 0, 1 in the UV plane under this transformation T given by these two functions. And so I've started by just sketching the region in the UV plane. That's, a, that's always a good place to start. And I've color coded the edges of this thing because whenever a shape is built out of, when it's a polygon, when it's built out of straight line edges, your idea should be to try to map the shape edge by edge, so one edge at a time, and then try to figure out what it looks like in the new plane. So let's start with the blue edge here, which is just the portion on the x-axis, which I'll draw like this. And so to describe this edge, this edge in the, in the UV plane, this edge has equation V equals zero. It's on the, it's on the u-axis. I called it the x-axis a minute ago, but it's the u-axis in this plane. And u goes from zero to one along this edge. So what we need to do is find the values of x and y, and um, when v is zero, and then see what happens as u goes from zero to one, and then try to plot that in the xy plane. Okay, so if v is zero, then our x equation becomes just u squared minus zero squared, or just u squared, and our y equation becomes two times zero, which is just zero. Okay, so this tells us that the blue edge maps to a uh, a portion of the u, the xy plane where x is going is, is equal to u squared and u is going from 0 to 1. So as u goes from 0 to 1, u squared also goes from 0 to 1. It goes a little bit faster, but we don't really care about that, right? So it's going to trace out the same segment, actually. It gets mapped to itself, just a little bit faster. All right? And then we go on to the next segment. So we're going to go segment by segment. The next segment is this vertical red segment. I mean, you don't have to do it in this order, but this is the way I'm going to do it. And so for this segment, um, the constant is that this time u is constant equal to 1, and v is changing from 0 to 1. Okay, so let's see what this what happens if we plug in these parameters. So now we get, okay, we plug in our formula. x is equal to u squared minus v squared. So this is going to be 1 squared minus v squared, or just 1 minus v squared. And similarly, y is going to be equal to 2 times u times v, so that's just 2v. All right, and so now we want to try to think of, well, what are these things going to be equal to? Well, we can do um, some kind of a substitution here. We can just solve this for y and plug it into the other equation, right? So if we plug in uh, that y, uh, sorry, v is equal to y over 2, then what we end up with is that x is equal to 1 minus y over 2 quantity squared, or x is equal to 1 minus 1 fourth y squared. Okay, and as uh, v goes from 0 to 1, then y goes from 0 to 2, actually, right? And so or you can look at this as well, the x value goes from, from 1 back to 0, and when it's at 0, when x is 0, um, that happens when v is equal to 1. When v is 1, y is 2, and this looks like a portion of a parabola. All right, so this is a portion of a parabola. And so again, it's a sideways parabola, it's opening, th this time it's x equals 1 minus something times y squared, so it's opening from right to left, and this red portion, it goes up to a height of 2, we said. All right? So this is, this is the height when v equals 1. This point right here corresponds to v equals 1. And this point over here is where it picked up when v was equal to 0. And so it traces out this portion of the parabola. Okay? So I'm going to let you do the other two because they're very similar. But for the green, I'll write down the formulas for you. For the green edge... Uh, you're going to write down what? That this time the v is fixed equal to 1, and u is changing. It's going from 1 back to 0. Or you can still go from 0 to 1 if you want. But it looks like maybe 1 back to 0 if you, go, if you start from here and head back in this direction. And it turns out this is going to trace out a mirror image of that same parabolic curve. Again, please work this out, but I'm going to let you do it on your own. And then this vertical light edge on the left, this one corresponds to u equals 0, and v is changing. Again, it can go from 1 to 0 or 0 to 1, doesn't matter. 
The direction doesn't matter because we know that it's going to enclose the same shape, right? But if you go in this direction, then it truly closes it up like this. And so the interior of this kind of um, curved shaped region, this is the region R, which is the image of the transformation, uh, under the transformation of our rectangle S.